Hi, it's Tracy from Two Rocks Tarot and it has been a while again, hasn't it? It's been about six months, I think, since I've actually done a wrap-up video. So, of course, the reason I'm doing a uh, wrap-up video now is because I can finally share some news about my uh, cancer. <laughs> so, um, I have been getting back into making content, as those of you who have followed my channel will have realised. Those of you who are new to my channel, um, thank you for stopping by and I'll just give a quick update as to what has been happening to me health-wise. So three years ago I got diagnosed with um, breast cancer and I had a mastectomy and I had uh, chemo and I had radiotherapy and, and a whole lot and then in April of this year I found out that it had metastasized into my lymph nodes and I have been having a lot of trouble. <laughs> um, just with um, the first lot of medication that my oncologist put me on to stop it from spreading I had a very very bad reaction and that would have been in May and it took me until oh, I'd say the end of September for me to fully recover. That's how bad it was because what it was actually doing was it was killing my red blood cells. Um, and so my hemoglobin, which was at 183, went down to 51. So you can imagine how ill I was. That was actually worse than chemo. So that's a brief little snapshot of what's been happening. So last Tuesday, so today is the 17th, so on the 14th, I think that was right, Tuesday is on the 14th, I had a scan to see how my, uh, where my cancer is sitting at. Now I will show you a picture, and as you can see there's my neck, that's how swollen it was, and my oncologist was a bit worried about it uh, affecting my jugular vein and my audio nerve. And as those of you know, I am deaf anyway, so I wear hearing aids. So I did not want anything else to happen to my hearing. So um, I said to him, well, look, I don't care if I have to have chemo and my hair falls out. And he sort of was a bit taken aback because I think a lot of women worry about the hair falling out and really I couldn't care less because I've always had short hair as you can see. <laughs> so uh, he said, oh, hang on a minute. And he put me on hold because we do a lot of teleconferences because it's about a 30k drive to where he is. So to save me driving down, we often do a teleconference. And he said, I've got these tablets and a chemo that you can combine together, have a really good reduction rate up to 50%. And I said, well, let's do it because he gave me a choice. He said, I don't like radiotherapy because that was another choice was to have radiotherapy in my neck. He said, I'm not a fan of it because if you have radiotherapy, it can affect your saliva uh, glands and burn them out. So your rest of your life, you've constantly got a dry mouth. You just can't, you know, uh, you have trouble swallowing and all sorts of things. He said, whether it's chemo, uh, it'll go throughout the whole body. And I said, well, in your opinion, um, chemo is better and he said yes I think it's a better option so I said let's do it so I've had about eight rounds of that and I was taking tablets at first uh, chemotherapy tablets four in the morning and four at night and then we cut it down to two because one of the side effects is with um, them tablets is that you get really sore feet like peeling feet I thought I had a splinter and when I had a look under my feet they were all peeling and like bleeding and, and on my thumb too, just one thumb that happened, which is kind of weird. So he reduced it down and uh, then like, as I said, last Tuesday I had my scan and then I saw him uh, Tuesday that's just gone. And um, oh, actually I should mention too, the very first time that I had chemo, I looked at my neck and I thought, oh, it looks like it's already going down. So that I had it on a Thursday, the Friday, it looked like it was going down. Saturday, it was completely normal. I kid you not, that's how fast it worked, you know. So anyway, I saw my oncologist and he said that every single bit of my cancer has shrunk. Yay, me. Including I had one that was like really, that like was popping up through my skin. He actually put my two scans, the before and after the chemo, and my God, what a difference. What an absolute difference. So every single one of it has shrunk. There is no new cancer. And so now I can finally start preventive um, medication to stop it from spreading and eventually, well, this is my goal is to get rid of it altogether, to become in complete remission. Now, I'm not, um, I'm not naive because this is, I am classed as terminal, but I refuse to accept that. And because I've had such a good shrinking trait and my oncologist is not one to offer false hope, he was saying that it's you know it's really really encouraging to see how I've how I've reacted to it. Uh, so now I'm going back on monthly injections to stop my hormones because that's what caused my breast cancer was my hormones it was hormone produced. So I'm starting that actually today. I'm due in to get a needle today, and he's going to have have another teleconference in two weeks to see how that's going to make sure there's no side effects. 
and is also in touch with my haematologist to check that the new tablets that he's going to put me on, because they're same in the same family as my last lot, but a little bit different. He wants to make sure that it's not going to affect me again. So it's going to be um, very uh, diligent, I suppose to say, like to really, um, I mean, he's really, he's like, he's the best doctor out. And um, in fact, I gave him this just as a token of my appreciation. <laughs> he was really humble, guys, a very humble doctor. I put a smiley face in there for privacy reasons, of course, because, you know, he, he doesn't want his face spread all over Facebook, uh, over YouTube, I should say, because he's very private and he's a very humble doctor. He really, really is, but he's absolutely wonderful. He's um, always there for you, and I'm, I know I'm not his only his only patient, but he always answered my emails. He, he sent me scripts direct to the chemist so I could pick them up when I had COVID. Uh, and, you know, um, he also organised for some tablets and, chemists deliver it to me like it's just above and beyond what I expected from a doctor I've never had a doctor that um that treated me like that so that is the plan so I have started up my website again so I'm back to reading and I'm also back to reading on future me a company that I work for I've joined back up with that um I'm really excited to start reading again because I've really missed it I, I haven't really touched my cards for a good year I've only just started in the last three weeks and um and i know i'm reading now because i've as you know if you if you follow me you know i've been doing a lot of shorts on my on my animals and my dog and my on my cats because they just sort of you know they just make me laugh all the time and i've noticed in a few of them there's some orbs flying around and i've been getting some messages again so i knew it was time to start back up that i'm healthy enough now that i can start back up reading i can just get on with my life um these uh needles and because when i was just on the needles when they were trying to get me uh, well again uh, my cancer of my groin shrunk by 70% just on the needles alone so I'm thinking with these needles and these new tablets combined uh, it's it's just going to obliterate it because that's that's just what's going to happen <laughs> that's what I want so besides getting back up on my feet um, I haven't really been doing much I did I have brought a few new decks that I've, I've shared some of them I've just done flip throughs I haven't talked about them or anything like that because I haven't worked with them um, the, my recent video that I did, the, the Three Cauldron Spread, that was the first uh, time that I worked with one of my new decks, and I really enjoyed that. Um, I've got a, a couple of more decks that I want to uh, play around with before I actually show, you know, how they work and what I've been using it for sort of thing. Um, and what else have I been up to? I, really, honestly, I've, it's just been a long struggle to get well, to feel like well, really well. Um, I have a lot of people say that I look really well, which is fantastic. I uh, went to my husband's Christmas, oh, not a Christmas breakup. He had his owner of the business is going to retire. And so we went there and everyone said, I look so well and they couldn't believe it, <laughs> which is really nice to nice to see. And I feel really good. I don't feel tired because even the nurse said to me, because when you go through the chemo, because this particular chemo um, is a very nasty one that I went through. So it, and, and by nasty, I mean, I didn't get any side effects and she couldn't believe it. You know, they did check for the sores in your mouth, which I had last time. And I couldn't even open my, I couldn't even able to put a toothpick between my lips. That's how sore it was. But this one, um, if it leaks, so they can't actually, with this chemo, they used to hook you up to the machine and when it beat, they'd come back and they'd make sure everything's okay and take you off or whatever. This one, they have to actually sit with you because if it leaks, it can eat away all your veins. That's how bad it is. It's a very, very nasty type of a one. Um, one of the nurses suggested I get a port put in, but I didn't really want to because it was only you know a couple of months of chemo is going to kill me so and that's the most painful part is actually getting a vein and I've got bad veins anyway long before I had cancer um I always had trouble getting blood out of me I <laughs> put it that way so when they shine an x-ray they've got this little x-ray machine that they sort of go over your veins to find a good one because what they're looking for is a nice strong straight one and mine are all wiggly like it's unbelievable so sometimes I'd have it in the back of my hand sometimes above my arm in here, I've had it as well. Um, it's just really weird spots. It's wherever the vein is going to uh, produce the best. So I was lucky with that. So so I just can't tell you how relieved and how grateful I am. And to everybody out there who has supported me on this long, long journey and didn't give up on me, who didn't unsubscribe from my channel, even though I wasn't really doing anything, I really, really appreciate it because you really do feel that support. I can't tell you enough. When I was first diagnosed and, and just the outpouring of support, you really felt it. It's, um, 
it's very humbling and it's it's just amazing so i just that's what i've been doing this the last six months is just really getting my health back up to speed my hemoglobin is normal now that took a long time to get back up to normal believe me um i've been enjoying going out now uh, with my husband we usually go out on fridays and have lunch um just everyday things sitting out in the backyard with the animals and watching them go crazy i just love it it's been a really it's just feels good to feel good <laughs> So that's what I'm doing, doing. Um, and I'm taking a good look at my content to see what else I can do, so maybe something a bit different, I don't know, or continue on with what I'm doing. I'm not really sure. I sort of still take each day as it comes, but I just want to let you all know the good news that I'm well on my way to uh, recovering now. Well, I, I mean, you know, I feel really, really good, so there's nothing wrong with me that way. Um, and just, yeah, and thank you very much. And until next time, this is Tracy. <laughs>